Joining me now, David Schwartz, defense attorney and former prosecutor, and Francisco Hernandez, immigration attorney Hi. in Fort Worth, Texas. Thank you, gentlemen, Hello. for talking to me. Um, David, let me ask you first, um, talk about the Department of Homeland Security reportedly considering separating moms and their kids right. uh, to deter them from coming into the U.S. illegally. What well, do you make of yeah, that well, strategy? First of all, Julie, it's, it's just a proposal. It, 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 it's just in the proposal stages right now. So we don't know if this is ever going to become a policy. But with that being said, um, the proposal would be in order to avoid this abuse of children and, 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 the, and the danger of coming, of crossing the border and, and coming in through the southern border, uh, they would uh, separate the, the, the mother from the child uh, during these deportation hearings. I don't, I don't agree with that policy. I think it should be looked at on a case-by-case -case basis. I mean, a Homeland Security official actually says that the department is considering, Francisco, separating a mother and their child. Their child, it's a not going minor. To happen. It's, okay. Well, no. wait. Now, if that illegal mother has committed a crime, a, a violent crime, any kind of crime, then I understand. Okay. Then that's the price you pay. And any criminal in this country, right. illegal or legal, if you commit a crime, okay. you're going to be separated but from you, your kids. You, but but you wait a second. The but facts, this is okay? inhumane. If, if, if I mean, now what you're country? Saying she's a violent criminal. Wait a second. Let a, me finish. That's I'm a talking. complete different deal. Wait, it's a criminal I'm speaking. Justice system. I'm speaking. It's not going to happen. Hello. Does he not it's hear me? Not I don't think he hears me. America is. Does our it's guest not who America not have is, an and what you're going to do, even if you advance with it, you're going to create a baby Moses scenario. What mother would not take their child to the promised land if they're going to hand it over to a relative? It's not going to happen. We're not that dumb. Francisco, can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, okay, good. I just, it sounded as if you didn't because I kept trying to ask you to stop speaking so that I could speak. Here's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> this is the land of the free, okay? And we are not opening our borders and saying you're free to enter, okay? But if you're here and you're illegal, there is a, there is a humanitarian way to get that person out. And if that person has a child, that person has not committed a crime, what country do we live in that we actually remove children from their mothers, minors? We don't. We so, don't. We're not going to. But that's something it's that this is actually being considered by uh, by the Depar the State Department, is it not? Well, I mean, David, it is being considered. Look, in the scrapped. family courts, all, all, okay, in the family courts all over this country, we make those decisions, and we make those sure. decisions based on what's... If the child is endangered, if a mother or father wait, wait, is beating their child, what, yes, wait, what's in the, the courts best, get involved. Okay, yeah, what's in the best interest of the child? Right. And I and I believe the policy should be that should be the standard when 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 the parent comes in illegally with a child. They should look at what's in right. the best interest of the child, just like we do in the family courts all over the place. So in some cases, it may warrant the child being taken away from an abusive parent. But I think that should be the standard. Okay. Um, but, Representative... But if, if, let me just ask you something. Representative Henry Cooler, a, a Democrat from Texas, said that the move could cross into violating human rights rather than uh, protecting the U.S., saying, saying that bottom line, separating mothers and children right. is wrong. Um, talk about the impact, first of all, Francisco, of implementing the fast-track deportation policy, and should some of these people be getting hearings? Like, for example, ICE picked up Daniela Vargas. This is a story I'm sure that you all heard. Uh, a dreamer with expired DACA status as DACA, meaning that if you came into this country as a minor, that you Correct. are not forced out. After she spoke right. out against Trump's policies, when her dad and brother were detained, her lawyers are now reporting that she is going to be deported without a hearing. Does she deserve a hearing? Well, yeah, we give due process in this country, and she will get due process. She will get an injunction. The lawyers will stop it, and she will get due process. But look, the deportations are the sneezing of the flu. Let's talk about the flu. We have a magnet that attracts these folks to jobs we are giving them. If we don't want drugs coming and if we don't want people coming undocumented, quite frankly, stop using the drugs and stop hiring them. Let's get back to what the origin of the problem is. Let's create a system where these folks can come here legally because there is no line to wait on to apply. These folks cannot apply. And you know what? No one is more against illegal immigration than illegal immigrants. And also immigrants, period. People who come here, legal immigrants, sure. uh, are very against it. I mean, we, and I can speak for a lot of the Hispanic community that says, look, we waited in line, and they should too, and it's not fair that they get to jump ahead, um, and we shouldn't. But it's just the humane well, no aspect well, in, in getting the illegals out, um, obviously putting the criminals at the front of the line, and then somehow impacting 
you know, immigration control in order to secure our borders. David, I'll give you the final well, word. Well, yeah, we're talking about the waiver program. We have over 500,000 deportation cases in this country. So in a perfect world, yes, everybody should see a judge. But it's just not possible in some of these cases. So these are waivers. You waive your rights in these cases. All right. You're right. For the record, my mother was a legal immigrant, and I was born here in this country. But she is one of those Me that too. certainly frowns upon other people coming in the wrong way. All right. Thank you both, uh, Francisco you. and David. Appreciate it. Thank you, Mr. Schwartz. Always, always a good time.